Spin to my back. Spin. Real simple. Come right back. <coughs> right back. Snap. Spin. Spin to the back. Notice uh, when, he, when he spins where his hand goes, so my hand can't go like this. So his hand goes on the side of my head or covers my tricep. Snap. Spin to the back. Good. For guys, make sure you spin on your chest. For girls, spin on your stomach. So you don't get stuck. Okay. Snap. Spin to the back. Here we go. Okay, basically the same thing, but one person's gonna be up, he's gonna be up on his knees, hands on my shoulders, all right? So I whack, then I go behind, all right? So I snap him down, go behind. Now, when you snap, <coughs> when you snap from here, you snap, make sure your shoulder gets on his, his neck, all right? So my shoulder's right on the nape of his neck, right where there's a little sinkhole right here, right before the skull. You put your shoulder there, Therefore, if he tries to drive forward, you got a, you got a good motion on him. Sometimes you go too high, he drives and you get taken down, all right? So once you're here, just practice. You put your hands on his shoulders. You hear, you snap, shoulder touches, right away behind. Come back, touch your head, comes up, forward, boom, behind, all right? Back and forth. Set, set. All right, one person go for one minute. Okay, slam him. Rick's gonna tie me up, a uh, bicep collar tie. And look at his right foot, it's, good. it's just gonna go like this. Or his left foot's gonna go like that. So he can go five and five if he wants, five left, five right. So he goes collar, bicep tie, just snaps and brings his leg back. And I come right back up. Yeah. Switch, now he goes other leg, other tie. Same thing. <clears throat> That's it. So you're actually giving your partner a scarecrow. Scarecrow, fall, immediately come right back up. Look at his leg, how his leg goes back. So there's no way I could be shooting to his legs. Five and five, five and five. Here we go. Yes, Your power hand, which is the one on the neck, is the same foot that goes forward. Yes, Some of you guys are putting your other leg forward or you're staying square. Okay, so square is okay, but power hand is the one on the neck. And then that leg goes straight back and then comes back up. And same thing with <coughs> the other, same thing. And notice his tie up. He's actually forming a heart, a heart, so I, I can't get a hold of him. And that's what it's for, because he could even use a knee. Oh, and then back snaps me. That's it, that's where the drill is. For training, we just do it on our knees so you get that speed. Okay, now, this time, as you snap him down, right? You can do the same thing, head inside, power hand. Take that step back, and this time, as soon as you hit the ground, hit, boom, you got on his chin, and your elbows clamp together. Then he comes back up, you can switch sides, hit, right on the chin, elbows clamp together, all right? So now you're learning how to get to a front headlock. Because there's two ways to do this. Sometimes I just snap because I want to get behind right away. I'm not even gonna bother staying with a front headlock. Other times, I want to hit here, I snap and I lock this in because I want to control them or obviously you submit some rest and now we have a lot of things you can do to attack the neck. So as soon as you snap, get a hold of his chin, elbow clamped in, short elbow, you don't want to be hanging your elbow down, keep your elbows pointed up, all right? So it's like this, then he comes back up, here, snap, elbow, nice and tight, clamp. Okay, grab your partner, five and five. One, two, three. All right, you're going to do the same thing now, but when he's down and you bicep collar tie and your legs forward, your right foot's going to come back 
and then it's going to step and it's going to give you the ability to take his back. So it's almost the same thing. Look at how you're pushing into him. When you snap him, when you snap him, your leg comes back and you're scooping him to the side. Then that leg comes right back to the center, which will allow you to come to here. <laughs> Slowly push. Uh, also, when you scoop him, scoop him to the side. Bring your leg back and scoop him to the side. That's going to give you the ability to get in to the rodeo ride. Push, scoop him to the side. There it is. You got it? Yes, sir. LifelineUSA.com. For your warm ups, you have a million things with these things you can do. You can practice your arm drags, you can practice your back steps, you can practice all your twists, your power cleans, then you can also practice your snap downs. You snap down left, you snap down right, you snap down double. These things have belts. Uh, we put them on biters, put them on the pole, and they do their pads on this. One round with this around your waist is equivalent to three rounds. Three rounds, because you're tired, very tired. Also, you, we use this at the park, and we make people run. The worst is when they break. Oh. <laughs> Listen to this one with Sean Shirk. Well, actually, Sean was doing it, wore it all out, and he got snapped right in the butt. So all of a sudden, he's like, he's shooting, all of a sudden, that thing hit, and that's how his shot got that much faster. <laughs> look said, at that. If I can move that fast and get snapped in the butt, I can do it always. Look, 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 yeah, watch out. Was, it cut it. Yeah. Look that's that. what happens. <laughs> Literally just broke. <laughs> that's what, I have more handles. But that's oh, what happens. I guys. tell you, I had a couple guys, another one that the handle broke and came back and snapped him right in the butt. And so it kind of cut him. So next thing I look over, he has like three geese wadded up in the back doing shots. Like, what are you doing? He goes, oh, I'm not letting that thing snap me again. <laughs> I was at Greg's and uh, Sean was just experimenting with it. And we gave him the black cable, which is the strongest. And he put it on, he was shooting, he was shooting. And uh, it, was, it was right in the beginning of summer, so the front door was open at your old school. And Sean shot, and all of a sudden he went, Pew, and he shot right out the front door. <laughs> he took off running because the thing snapped him so hard, he went, ah, and then took off. <laughs> this thing, though, helps your, uh, helps your core big time. It helps your shots. It helps your striking. And before you train, just go like this. And if you see that there's a little fray in there, don't use then it. And you don't use it because I don't snap. But if it's solid, it's pretty good to go. This one's old and it's not frayed. So, anyways, lifelineusa.com. They're pretty cheap. Um, I, I actually brought these into the mixed martial arts world years ago when we were just experimenting and playing with it. Volley Tudo tape, too. We have a bunch of Yeah, we had Volley Tudo tape, and this was on there. But uh, my friend John Hines, he makes these. John is his father owns Lifeline. And uh, John used to train with us at the Inasano Academy. And uh, he goes, hey, you should come down and work out at, at uh, my dad's gym. And uh, he's in Madison, Wisconsin. And he goes, we're going to pump rubber today. And I was like, so stupid. Let's pump iron. So we did medicine ball training with all the whipping to the wall and the ceiling. And then we did this. And then I put the power wheel on. And I had to walk across the floor. Man, that thing was wobbling everywhere. He goes, man. He goes, how have you been fighting for this long in your cores that week? Nobody even knew what a core was back yeah. then. You said core, everyone thought you were talking about an apple. <laughs> so after that, the core, everything's core. Now everything, the stability ball, core. Oh, the kettlebell, core, all core training. And that's how they advertise it, which is stupid because a lot of the exercise they do is not, doesn't even affect your core whatsoever. But this thing, uh, believe it or not, actually is the best thing you can get if you and you keep it in your bag and you practice and you can use it all the time. John Hines is probably one of the strongest people you'll ever met, ever. He has never lifted a weight in his life. And this is what he used. He pumps rubber. All Robert. that stuff. His dad was an old-time boxer and really got into it. And yeah, his dad was on the cover of the Wheaties box with the jump rope. There's yeah. a picture of him on the jump with the jump because he created that beaded jump rope over there with the macaroni. He created that thing. And that thing's probably, what, 50 years old, 60, yeah, 50 years old. Yeah. It's a super strong guy, and he's never lifted weights, ever. Just total core, core stuff and bands and everything else.